Welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build yourself an oasis. That way, you have a nice area in the desert, a little splash of color, and overall a break from all the sand and yellows. So without further ado, let's investigate what we're going to be using, which are almost exclusively lush cave blocks. Here we have some moss, going to be the outline, and then some clay, which will be the bottom of this oasis lake. And your job is to excavate this out into a roughly bowl shape, using moss on the first two layers and clay on the rest. For placement, just about anywhere in the desert will do. If you can find a flat area that's at least 15 by 15 or so, then you can probably build an oasis. From here, our trees will be made out of jungle logs, spruce planks, not pictured, jungle wood, and azalea leaves, and those will come in later. For now, all we have to do is excavate the bottom part of this. Outline the mossy area you've chosen, and then you want to outline it. Not perfectly though. You can see for that moment where I outline it perfectly, it looks too unnatural. We need to make it look pretty organic since this is an oasis not a man-made pond, or at least we don't want it to be that. Now you can see the clay has been added, moss extending outward. We're going to do more moss extending, and this is pretty simple. You have to fill up the lake with water, and extend the moss around 4-5 to five blocks from the edge. And this is quite easy, extend it everywhere, and then we'll have room for our palm trees. Along with now we have our area filled up with some water, some sea grass, and tropical fish. And you can see it looks quite nice, especially paired with the mossy outline. Now it's time to build our trees. And these can have a bunch of different designs, but I recommend placing down some logs and then branching out like this with wood on the undersides if you don't choose to add spruce planks later. And we have a basic design to build off of. From here, what you want to do is go to the top and edit it a little depending on how tall you want it because the leaves are quite large. Then get your azalea leaves. We're using azaleas and moss because here's the thing with azaleas and moss. They aren't affected by the biome tint unlike grass and things like jungle leaves, which means azaleas have to do. And this also lessens the resource impact. They're all gotten from a lush cave, which will be quite easy. With our top now coated in azaleas, it's now time to add some branches. And these are quite easy to do. We'll jump cut there. We have ourselves the branches. And you can see, we have an X-shaped format with four branches going off. Every three blocks or so, they decrease another level. Spruce stairs here to connect them all up, which makes the wood less necessary. And overall, we have a quite nice palm tree. Don't forget the coca beans though, since those act as coconuts, which are always an essential if you want to have an oasis type build. But don't overcrowd it, otherwise it'll look ridiculous with the amount of coconuts. If you practice this part enough, then you'll have a very nice oasis. Now, we have ourselves some trees here. Some of them are taller than others, we have one large one, one small one, and two mediums. And you'll notice that the bottom of the largest one has some stairs around it, and one complete plank if you want the roots to go a little bit higher. Since, let's be honest, this would look quite awkward right here, best to leave it as all planks. And even though it doesn't quite fit in when you look closely, still, from a distance, it looks much better than having them be connected only at diagonals or other methods. And this looks really nice. We have our cocoa beans, some torches here for some lighting, especially since there isn't much opportunity for lighting this place up. And this means it's now time to get some of our plants. And what we want to do is we get ourselves normal plants. I strongly recommend getting yourself some sniffer plants though. Torch flowers and pitcher plants work fantastic here, since they're vibrant and there's something you wouldn't find naturally, which provides a little bit more uniqueness for this oasis. 
scatter them around and towards the edge, add some protrusions of moss blocks like this. So that way when you're done, you should have a smooth transition rather than a rough line that we have already. Now we have ourselves some nice biodiversity here involving the sniffer plants. I have a farm on that should be linked in the top right. Some bamboo, which have been locked in their current growth stages by placing string on top of them. Although this will be hard to do in survival if you're in creative, set the random tick speed to about 999 and place string when you get leaves on them. That way you can have variable heights without having them be bare. And some small drip leaves here and there. We only have one thing left to try and that's mossy carpet. And you place this around sparingly and it adds a little bit of a 3D effect. Now for some of the things that won't work since there's so many plants, anything that's affected by biome tint. I've seen several Oasis tutorials where they have nice lush green grass. Well, that's achieved through texture packs. It will not be possible in game, which means you, those tutorials aren't necessarily possible in survival without set biome command which means using moss, sniffer plants, azalea leaves, bamboo, etc. work while using things like grass or the sugarcane, things like that do not work. With the carpets now in place, this build is now finished. And you can see, it's quite small but adds a lot to this desert. From a far view, it's of course the only major thing in this entire desert. Because how yellow the desert is, any plant life that exists will stand out immensely unless you have other colors like this, but still, the oasis would be the most prevalent thing, even more so than the pyramids if you think about it long enough, which makes this fantastic to add. And the best part is, you can make multiple of them. Typically, oases can get quite large or appear in clusters, which means you could easily add a waterway, build it pressed up against a pyramid, or you can build some trees here and there around small puddles of oases. These are very versatile builds when it comes to beautifying your deserts. So I'd highly recommend giving it a shot if you're near a desert. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Either way, enjoy the rest of your day. Gearsaw out.